Let's imagine for a second that Spock and Picasso want to start a game studio together. They want to create an amazing game. What's their biggest problem going to be? It's probably going to be miscommunication. Why? Because they're both two polar opposite personality types. You have a developer, someone who's rational, who thinks like an architect, and then you have another person who's creative, thinks abstractly, um, cares about mood or story or how things feel. These two individuals probably aren't going to be able to communicate effectively to one another. They might get in arguments, they might scrap content, they might ultimately double or triple their development time because they just spent too much time arguing or, or being confused with one, one another about what the game should be. Now this is especially true with things like menu systems, um, using controllers and game pads in a menu system, and ultimately Something like Adobe XD is really going to help smooth out the path of creating games, especially between Spock or AKA coders and developers and programmers and art directors, UX designers and graphic designers. Adobe XD helps you do that and I want to show you how. How's it going guys? My name is Thomas Brush. I'm the creator of a game called Pinstripe and I'm also working on a game called Once Upon a Coma which will be launching this year and I've been making games for about 10 years and I wish I would have known about something like Adobe XD because I always would just start coding something or start making something and then two weeks down the road I would scrap it because I didn't know exactly what I wanted. Prototyping is crucial if you want to be a game developer. So let's take a look at Adobe XD, talk about all the cool features it offers, talk about how it offers gamepad integration which is really cool so you can use a PS4 or an Xbox One controller. So let's open up the hood, take a look and I want to show you all about Adobe XD. All right, guys, so this is Adobe XD, really beautiful, clean piece of software, really simple, easy to learn. And let's just start by zooming in. So let's press Control Plus or Command Plus if you're on a Mac. We can zoom in to take a look at our various artboards here. Hold space, click and drag, and you can just sort of get a nice bird's eye view of all of your artboards here. And all an artboard is, is it's just a bunch of different graphics at a certain screen size. So we've chosen 1920 by 1080. Um, that's just the typical screen size you'd wanna use for Nintendo Switch or Xbox or PS4 or Steam. And we can uh, drag around and look at all these 1920 by 1080 artboards here. So let's go ahead and hit the preview icon here. And we can take a look and see what we've created. So you can see some really cool transitions just happened and we can use our gamepad, which is a DualShock PS4 controller or we could use an Xbox One controller if we wanted to. So we could just press on the D-pad or the joystick to go left or right. We could also select new game and choose our game files just like a typical adventure game, really cool. And then finally we can press B and go back to our main menu. So really quick, I wanna cover how we're actually putting these artboards together. So if you notice, we have two tabs here. We have a design tab and then we have a prototype tab. The design tab is where we're gonna be putting our artwork together. And the way that we bring artwork into Adobe XD is simply dragging and dropping PNG images, JPEGs, or whatever. And you can also just create just simple shapes and have cool effects. You can even do a cool blur effect like we've done up here, selecting background blur. So as you can see here, we have various PNGs that we're using for this project. If we wanted to, we could drag in this little circle thumbnail here and put it up in the left hand corner here if we wanted to. But everything you see inside of each one of these artboards is either a PNG, a JPEG, a shape, or some live text. And then we've grouped some of those together. So each one of these buttons is a group of a shape and then some text. Now the coolest thing about Adobe XD is that if you have an identical duplicate group or object on an individual artboard and you have that on this another artboard, any change you make to the properties of that shape or object is actually going to automatically animate and transition when you go from artboard to artboard. So if we move from this artboard to this artboard in the preview mode, you'll notice that new game will scale down to this size here and the options button will scale up and transition to blue. So we take a look at this first home screen here 
it's actually not completely empty. If we take a look at it, it actually contains all of the grouped objects that are from this frame here. It even contains the title, but the title's opacity is set to 0%. So this entire panel is actually just going to shift up to the location here, all because they're identical objects to this artboard here. So if we select all of these artboards, you'll notice there's not a single transition. We don't, we're not really telling Adobe XD where to go and what to do right now. So all of that is going to happen is we're gonna go from this artboard to this artboard after three seconds. So what you do is you simply select your artboard and this little blue arrow is going to appear. And if you click and drag that blue arrow to a destination and release, it's going to reveal all of the various transitions and properties you want to select. So in this case, we don't want it to be tap. We want to go to this artboard if we actually select a button on the gamepad. So we can go down and select keys and gamepad. Now the coolest thing about Adobe XD is you don't actually have to type in any strings for key codes or anything like that. All you need to do is plug in your PS4 controller or your Xbox One controller and then press the button. So in this case, I know I want to use the D-pad, so I could press right on the D-pad and it's going to automatically fill in that string. So that is going to take us from this artboard to this artboard when we press the D-pad. You'll notice we have some various properties here as well we can choose. We know we want to use a auto animate action. So you notice it defaults to ease out. So I know that I want it to be ease in and out. I want it to be smooth when it's easing in and out. And I want it to last pretty quick. So let's do 0.1 seconds. Let's apply that logic to the rest of the artboards. Again, press the gamepad button you want. In, that ca in our case, it's D-pad right. We'll select this artboard, drag, press D-pad right. So as you can see, we can actually go to the right and select the various buttons and XD is actually auto generating the animations needed to create those cool different states for our buttons. What you will notice is we can't actually press left. No matter how hard I press left on the PS4 controller, it's not going to move us left. So we need to actually set that up. So the way that we do that is let's just start on this far right artboard and make our way left. We select the artboard and we're just going to drag and go to this artboard here. And then we'll just press our gamepad key left. It's gonna fill it in for us. We're gonna use that logic for the rest of our artboards here. So now we should be able to go left and right for our buttons. Perfect. Now what would we do if we wanted to select this new game button and take us to the choose game artboard? All you need to do is actually just select the grouped button, click the arrow, click and drag the arrow to the artboard. And as you can see, same logic applies here, only in this case, instead of pressing an actual directional button, you just press the cross button on your PS4 controller or the A button on your Xbox One controller. And it just fills in for you. All of our easing is set correctly, but we want the duration to be about two seconds. Let's go ahead and hit play and see if that works. So we can select all of our buttons and if we press the cross button on new game, transition slowly to choose game. Pretty cool. So let's start on this blank artboard here. Again, it has all of our various objects but they're hidden outside of the field of view. You'll notice that this home button icon is selected and that simply means that when we hit the preview button, this is the first frame that's going to be shown. If we wanted to, we could select this artboard here and set it to be the home artboard. But for now, I know I want this to be our home artboard and I wanna show you exactly how we've set a transition to occur between the blank state here to this full screen image here. So to show you how this is done, I want to start with this artboard here. So let's select the artboard title. And you can see right now there's a transition occurring from this artboard to this artboard. If we select this little arrow, you can see exactly what's happening. There's a trigger, which is time, and it has a delay of three seconds. And it's going to auto animate, which we discussed earlier. It's gonna cause all of the objects that are duplicates on this artboard and this artboard to change their properties and fade in, fade out, or move up and down. 
And then we also can choose what the easing effect is. In this case, it's gonna be bounce. It's gonna be one second. So that's what causes it to wait one, two, three seconds and bounce into place. And that logic is used across the board. All of these artboards use that same logic. So if we select this artboard here, you can see all kinds of transitions occurring from this new game button taking us to the choose game artboard. You can see that it takes us to the options button selected here. And if we select this one, it's gonna take us here and then it's gonna take us backwards. So there's all kinds of transitions and effects that we're selecting using that same line of logic I just showed you. So that is pretty much all there is to it with Adobe XD. There's lots of cool effects you can choose from. There's also some cool art tools that you can use to create your various prototypes. Once you're done creating your prototype and you feel confident that it communicates exactly what you need your menus or your UI or your game to be, simply click the share button here. And there's lots of options to actually share this project with your team. You can invite to edit, you can also share for review if you have a need to send it to a developer or you need to send it to your boss, or you can even just record a video and send that to your team as well. So what do you guys think? Do you think Adobe XD would help Picasso and, who was it? Spock. Would it help Picasso and Spock communicate? It probably would. And uh, I know for certain that if I would have used Adobe XD um, in my previous projects, miscommunication, some arguments, and just a lot of wasted time would have been avoided. Thank you guys so much for watching. If Adobe XD looks like something you're interested in, click the link below. And also please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and answer as best as I can. Hit the like button and also subscribe. That would really mean a lot. Thanks guys, talk to you later, bye.